Okay, welcome back to Shaving Down Under. I'm Doug. It's Monday. I'm going to do a real quick shave. Going completely bourgeois with Tom Ford and then his extreme aftershave lotion or balm, whatever you like to call it. This stuff's good, but expensive. So that's it in there. Uh, scent strength. Mm, this stuff's cold. <laughs> uh, the scent strength is uh, medium to strong. And this is roughly how it's supposed to be applied. Just with your fingers. Slim. With the, oh, got a phone call. No idea what happened. I got some phone calls. And then the camera just stopped. So maybe that turned off with the phone call. So I just had two phone calls. One from one of the bosses at the bottle shop, which is all cool. And then I hung up and the phone rings again. No name, just a number. Record a message. Hello, I am from Amazon, blah, blah. Hang up. Be a bit too much water on my face. Is that a bit more cream? So this cream's got a real menthol um, note to it. Which is quite pleasing. So the scent profile, it's dark, it's very smoky. There might be a hint of eucalypt in there as well. Shop story. In Adelaide over the weekend, it's been cold, it's been wet. I don't mind it, I sort of like it. But a lot of people go, oh, it's pretty miserable. And I was sitting in the shop last night, leading up to close. And this woman comes in. Bit embarrassed. Half whispers, I want to buy a dildo. And I said, well, non-vibrating, vibrating? She goes, oh, maybe non-vibrating. All right, there they all are. Let it go. For
So she has a look around. Now, I'll finish the story in a sec. So she comes up to the counter. She's got a toy that vibrates, battery operated, operated. So I try and upsell her. So do you need to buy? Do you need to buy batteries or loot? No. If she needs batteries, good. There's an extra five dollars. Four dollar profit. She starts hunting around for a credit card, <laughs> and then I noticed it's, the weather's freezing outside, it's wet and miserable, and she's broke out in a sweat on her top lip. Like, how keyed up was she in the shop? The downside of the story is she can't find a credit card. She goes, oh, I must have left it out in my car. And amazingly, people leave their wallets and things in their car. They come into the shop. It's a common occurrence. Oh, I've just left my wallet in the car. I think, what are you doing that for? If someone can see it, it just gives them the motivation to, to put a rock through your window, side window and grab it and run. Anyway, she goes out and she never came back. So she's either left the, her purse at home or when she got outside, she just lost her nerve. Who knows? All right, we're still recording. Cool, cool. Extreme. So I've got the, the perfume, the um, parfum. For this, it is quite dark and smoky. And that should be enough. Somehow put the lid on this successfully done yeah so she wasn't the first person to break out into a sweat in the shop a long time ago when I first was in the game there was another fella big fella Probably not the, your sharpest chisel in the in your set. And he used to break out in a full sweat just looking at the DVD covers. He used to creep me out. His claim to fame was he swung with his girlfriend and she left him and <laughs> and went for the guy they had the threesome with. <laughs> no wonder he was sweating. All right. I've really got to run. This is touch and go whether I was going to do this video today. But I have, so it's done. Okay, please stick around. Um, for Wednesday, I've got an unboxing. And obviously, next Friday as well. Um, I've got a soap from Uncle L. I think we'll um, have a look at that one. He was uh, quite generous and 
sent me a sample. Can't remember what it's called, but um, I've got all the notes somewhere. Okay, people, take care, enjoy your week, and we'll catch you soon. Ciao for now.